whether we will or not, the question of slavery is the question, the all-absorbing topic of the day. We can no more avoid it than a man can avoid eating. Now, there have been many efforts to settle the question, but our best and greatest men have greatly underestimated its size. They have consistently brought forward small cures for great sores, bandages too small to actually cover the wound. The framers of our Constitution understood the magnitude of the slavery question. African slaves were first purchased in August 1619 in Jamestown, Virginia. In 1787, 168 years later, the question of slavery had grown so large that the Constitutional Convention chose not to deal directly with it. To attack the issue head-on would split the convention, and there would be no union of states and a new federal government. Now, the paramount idea of the Constitution is the formation and preservation of the Union. For without the Union, the Constitution would be useless. But behind both the Union and the Constitution lies the Declaration of Independence. Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence which declares that all men are created equal, which declares that all men are created equal. Now, the 39 fathers who framed our Constitution, 21, a clear majority of the whole, subsequently showed that they understood no division of local from federal authority, nor any part of the Constitution forbade the federal government to control slavery in the federal territories. And the other 16, they left no record in other words, it was believed that if contained, slavery would naturally die out. The slave trade was to end in 20 years, and new territories were to be kept open to freedom. But the force of slavery keeps breaking out afresh and more violently than ever. As new states were admitted to the Union, Missouri, Alabama, Maine, it was worried that they would tip the balance of power between the slave and free states in Congress. The question was settled, our fathers hoped, by the Missouri Compromise of 1820. Then, after the war with Mexico, came far western states and territory. California, Texas, Utah, New Mexico. So, we compromised again. And the two great parties declared that the Compromise of 1850 could last forever. Yet how long before it was unsettled again? It broke out again in 1854 and blazed higher and raged more furiously than ever before. And the agitation has not rested since. It will not cease until a crisis shall have been reached and passed. A house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe that this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. I do not expect the Union to be dissolved. I do not expect the House to fall. But I do expect it will cease to be divided. It will become all one thing or all the other.